Procrastination dominates when it comes to writing. The fact is writing is scary, not just for you, for all. We never feel ready to write. Before I always fall in this procrastination trap when it comes to write anything. Later I built my second brain and made a lot of notes which ultimately helped me write anything. My obsidian second brain is the place where I get done all of my writing. It always helps me make this difficult task manageable by breaking down into baby steps. Now writing is the most fun part to me. The four best techniques that help me write anything are start with an outline. It is like a top level plan. Put everything in one place. It helps me make connections. Take baby steps. Make many small notes before writing. Write in obsidian. It is like flying on a plane, you will see the whole picture. There is a common saying, having a plan is better than no plan. Even bad plan is better than no plan. So when I need to write anything, I always start with an outline or few keywords or few sentences. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a full sentence. Just make a list of what I want to include in the writing. This doesn't need to be a final plan. I'm always flexible to change according to my storyline. I'll always improve my bad plan during research stage for writing. Now I will show you a toy example. I believe you have watched my previous video of this series, my Zettelkaster note taking method. So this was the outline before writing the script of this video. Intro, fleeting note, literature note, permanent note, Zettelkaster method, Niklas Lumen. I just keep those keywords as a part of my pen, that's it. If you put everything in one page related to the writing, you are likely to get it done. That's true for any task. By doing so, you can see the overall picture just like drone view and connect more information. Just dump everything in one page from your head. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you remember the reference, include that also. By doing so, you will gather a lot of information to tinker with. In my toy example, I also added two more quotes as I remembered at that moment. Remember, knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. So I know the reference, one page marketing plan book. And the second quote is the best time to plant tree is yesterday. The second best time to plant tree is today. I forget the reference, so I figured that later. At this stage, I have a good skeleton of my writing. So let's get to the fun part. Before when I need to write anything, I always started from zero. That time I had nothing except opaque memories that I read previous week. I also struggle regularly to remember those properly. This way I used to get frustrated and procrastinated over the task. Here is how you can overcome this procrastination. Remember, breaking down big tasks into smaller tasks is a skill. The better you are at, the easier your life becomes and you are less likely to procrastinate. We used to procrastinate more on difficult tasks and unimportant tasks. So always follow one rule, just take baby steps. Let me explain. Now you have the list of things from your outline, right? Make atomic notes on these topics. During literature review, if any information resonates your mind, copy and paste that into the page with reference. If the information is usable, I suggest to make an atomic note and link that with your writing page. Now let me show you how I made a baby notes of my video script. The first thing I need to consider is making a note for fleeting note. I remember I read this topic in a book and a blog article and afterwards I put that into my second brain. Then I put a quick search in obsidian. I got so many results. I used those reference to make an atomic note on the topic fleeting note. You see I made the note in bulleted format and used my own words because it is easy to read and easy to understand. If I don't have enough time, I copy paste and keep it inside the quotation mark to make sure that is not my writing. I also kept the reference with the note in case if I need more information. Similarly, I made notes for other topic in the outline, literature note, permanent note, Zettelkasten method, Niklas Lumen. Initially, you might not have all the information in your second brain, so you have to collect information from other sources such as Google, blog, books, article, etc. 
the good point of keeping everything in one page is I see all of the connections. This way my writing process becomes smooth. As I have a lot of supporting information for writing my script, few information are in linked format, few are inside quotation mark, few are my thoughts, few are my old opaque memories. There's a good feature in Obsidian if you don't know. In Obsidian, you can expand any link in preview mode just by putting exclamation mark before the link. Let's put exclamation mark before all of the notes I made before. You see, at this point, I have everything for writing my story. Now my job is to write a coherent story using all of the notes and references. This way, I do not have to stress out. Every time, I put a baby steps and collect one stone at a time. Another good point of making notes is, you are making many reusable blocks for your future use. You can write anything connecting those notes in later. This is just a toy example. This is how I write paper, social media post, blog post, video script, short script, almost everything. That's all for today. If you are new to my channel, I am Shubham Gordash, PhD student, Clarkson University. If you find this video useful, please hit subscribe and bell icon and also share with your friends who are building second brain.